No, sir, I'm not. I thanked her for her time, and then I called MasterCard, and again I learned that Louise Earl had bought no tickets. When I hung up for MasterCard, Pike was waiting. He shook his head. Uh, looks to be some missing clothes. No toothbrush. Great. I picked up the phone again, called a friend at Pacific Bell, and asked for every call that Louise Earl had made in the past five days. My friend read off twelve numbers, which I dutifully copied, nine of which were in local area codes, and three of which were long distance. I dialed the first long distance, the phone rang twice, and a male voice said, Federal Correction Facility, Terminal Island. I hung up and looked at Pike. Le Cedric. Pike said, She probably didn't go to stay with him. Everyone's a comedian. I said, She didn't call Le Cedric. Le Cedric called her. Le Cedric calls and she changes her story. What do you think he told her? Pike shrugged. I thought about it and then called Angela Rossi. I said, At six this morning, Karis and two other guys broke into Louise Earl's house. They searched the place, and I don't know if they got a line on her or not. Why are you telling me this? Because Le Cedric Earl might know where she's gone. She said he wouldn't speak to her, but four days ago he called her twice.